Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to cut open a concrete slab in order to prepare to install new plumbing lines for a new apartment. Inside this new apartment, here we have our new kitchen. We got a kitchen designer to design the new kitchen with the new layout so we have all of our dimensions for the entire space. The one thing that we need to cut the concrete slab open for is plumbing lines for one, we need hot and cold water, and we need our waistline. That is both for our kitchen sink as well as our dishwasher, which are all tied in together. So the first thing we're gonna show you guys is where we're gonna cut it open and how to find that location. Now that we have all the dimensions laid out, we have to find where our kitchen sink is off of this wall right here. So we're gonna measure that out. Once we measure that out and get our location where our sink directly is going to be, we're now have, gonna have to trench it out to where our waistline is existing in the floor, which is come on over here. So after the carpet was ripped up, we see that we have a trench right here that was already done. Here I know our waistline and our water lines in here, which is where we need to access. Now that we know this, I'm going to break it off the middle, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a line from here all the way over to the trench of where our new kitchen sink location is going to be. After we make that one line, we're going to snap a chalk line, the two points. After we have a chalk line, we're going to measure 10 inches off of that, here and there. After we do that, we're going to snap another chalk line. Connecting those two, there we have our trench. Some of the tools needed for today's project. A concrete saw that's going to cut a minimum of 4 inches in depth for our sled. We're going to pair that together with a hose. For, to minimize the dust since we are cutting indoors, using a hose or some sort of water or sprayer is 100% critical. You're going to want a concrete demolition hammer with a chisel paired together with an extension cord. To clean up our concrete debris, a broom, flat shovel, and a dustpan. To dig out all of our subsoil that is underneath our concrete, we're going to want a trenching shovel. To get into real narrow spaces, this trenching shovel is very critical. Alright, we're going to need a chalk line to snap our lines on the floor. A pencil paired together with a six foot level. If you ever cut concrete before, on top of chalk lines, the chalk line often disappears, especially when water is involved. So I'm gonna go over here with a marker or a pencil and score that chalk line on the floor to make it nice, crisp, and sharp. Here, we have some drop cloths to protect the ceiling lights, as well as the HVAC vents. We're gonna to wanna to not have any dust going on to those and protect the walls so it minimizes on cleaning in the future. Some drop cloths all around and some painter's tape so it doesn't pull the paint off when released. Safety. You're going to want some protective eyewear as well as a face mask while you're cutting the concrete. Here, I prefer to use a full face mask respirator with some demolition respirator filters. Some work gloves and of course a tape measure. Here we have a demo hammer just to help break up some of the concrete after it is cut out. And finally, one or two ladders depending on if you have any help to hang up all those drop cloths. Besides that, these are all the tools you're going to need for today. Let's get started. So based off of our drawings from the kitchen designer, from the wall to the outside part of our sink, we have 123 inches. You're going to measure off of the sheetrock on the wall, not off of the baseboard molding, because the kitchen designer is taking their measurements off of the wall, not the baseboard molding. Make sure you do that. So I know from the corner to the outside part of our new sink location, we have 123 inches with a 27 inch sink. So over here, we mark out 123. That's the outside part of our sink. Now we have a 27 inch sink. So, off of that 123, there we have our 27 inches. 27 divided by 2, generally your waistline for the sink is in the middle of the sink. 27 divided by 2, right there, 13 and a half. We have a 13 and a half mark right here. So, we, that's kind of our general location of where our waistline we want to be for our trench. So, based off of that 13 and a half mark, I'm measuring five inches off of that for that one, five inches off of there, and you have a general idea, and um, that's how I found our location for our trench. So now that we established where our sink location is, 
off of our center, we're gonna take for a 10 inch trench, five inches off our center that way, five inches off the opposite way off of center. So after you mark your first line right here, that's easy. Now you want a 10 inch trench, just take 10 inches off of where you just were. So we're gonna do 10 inches from our first mark right there. After you have that, we're gonna take our chalk line, hold that right there. Hold the chalk line right there. Okay, all the way across to our other 10 inch mark, which we did over here. You're gonna pull that chalk line nice and tight, and then you're gonna snap it, and there you have your 10 inch trench all the way across. You can check it even right here in the middle, 10 inches. So now I'm putting up our sheathing across in order to block the dust from spreading on our walls and our ceiling. We're gonna be covering the entire workspace and sealing it up. All right, and here you have it. Fully sealed our light fixtures. We have a smoke detector, the air conditioning vent, Everything is sealed off for our working space. This is for dust management. All right guys, we have completed our project. Come and check it out. So we have a 10 inch cut all the way across. Got everything demoed and excavated out to the proper depth for our new plumbing lines. And over here we have our existing plumbing lines exposed. So we're gonna be tying into these right here and it's gonna be coming all the way across to where our new sink is going to be. That sums it up for today. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more future DIY videos. Thanks guys. All right, all the plumbing lines are installed. Trench is backfilled. Now we just have to fill it in with all new concrete. All right, we have completed our project. Cut open the slab, demoed out all the concrete, dug out the subsoil, plumbing lines were run and connected to the existing plumbing, backfilled and concrete filled in the new trench. That sums up today's project. Thanks guys for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much.